Hello class! In this video, let me teach you about characterizing and describing the roots of a quadratic equation learning task 4. This time, I will teach you about the learning task 4, wherein you're going to solve the problem by applying the sum and the product of the roots of quadratic equations. So your task is to answer the problem. The perimeter of a rectangular metal plate is 36 decimeter and its area is 80 square decimeter. Find its dimensions. Relate the measures to the sum and product of a quadratic equation. So remember, this is your task. So I am not going to answer this. I will give you another example that will guide you to answer this problem. So in Perimeter is equal to 2 quantity L plus W. So perimeter will serve as our sum of the roots and area will serve as the product of the roots. An example, a rectangular garden has an area of 132 square meter and a perimeter of 46 meter. Find its dimensions. So the illustration I have here is a rectangular shape. So all the color blue serves as the area, which is 132 square meter. So remember that this formula for area is length times width, or 132, or substitute the value of A to 132, then copy L times W. So... We also have the two length and the two width, which what we call our perimeter. So the perimeter is equal to two times length plus width. According to the problem, perimeter is equal to 46 meter. So P is equal to two quantity L plus W. So substitute the value of P, which is 46, and then copy the formula 2 times L plus W. So sim let's simplify the formula. Since ang hinahanap po natin is L and W, or yung value ng length and width, kailangan matanggal yung 2 sa side po nila. So by dividing both sides of the equation, 46 divided by 2 will give us 23, and then 2 divided by 2 will give us 1. So we're not going to write it, and then copy the length plus width. We have the two equations, which are 132 equals L times W, and 23 equals L plus W. So we need to find the two numbers that have the sum of 23. Yung pag pinag plus mo, ang magiging sagot ay 23. At pag pinag-multiply mo, ang magiging sagot naman ay 132 para makuha natin ang value ng dimensions or yung sukat ng length and width. So let's try two factors or two addends. 8 plus 15 will give us 23. How about its product? 8 times 15 will give us 120. Therefore, this is not the factors that we are looking. How about 9 plus 14? It will give us 23. Yes, that's correct. How about its product? We have 9 times 14 will give us 126. Therefore, this is not the factors that we are looking for. How about 11 plus 12? 11 plus 12 will give us 23 also, which is correct. How about its product? 11 times give us 132. Wow, the factors that we are looking, 11 and 12, are the factors that we are looking for. Therefore, the dimensions of the rectangular garden is 11 by 12, or the width is equal to 11 meters and the length is equal to 12 meters their solution to this problem. We have area is equal to length times width. Remember, when we also have perimeter equals to quantity length plus width. 
or A is equal to L, W, or L times W. So substitute the value of 132 to A equals L times W. And let's proceed to the perimeter. P is equal to 2 quantity L plus W. Substitute the value of the given 46 equals 2 quantity L plus W. So we need to remove 2 at the side of L and W to simplify the equation. So divide both sides by 2. 46 divided by 2 will give us 23. And then it will be equal to L plus W. So we need to transpose L to get the value of W. So that will give us 23 minus L. And then that will be equal to W. Ibig sabihin, 23 minus L is equal to W. So those two equations are the equations that we need to solve for the equation. So let's use the first equation. 132 equals L times W. Isa substitute natin yung pangalawang equation doon sa W. So we have 132 equals L times 23 minus L. Sabi nga, ang W daw ay equal sa 23 minus L dun sa second equation natin. That's why we can substitute it or papalta natin and then simplify the equation. So that will give us 132 equals L quantity 23 minus L. Then simplifying it, we have L times 23 will give us 23L and L times L, negative L, will give us negative L squared. So we need to write this into standard form. If you still remember, the standard form of quadratic equation, A, so dapat nauna po ang ating quadratic term. Since negative po ang L squared, pag nilipat natin sa kabila, that will be positive. And then, positive yung 23L, nilipat natin sa kabila, that will be negative 23L. Then copy 132. Since it is positive, so that will be plus 132 equals 0. L squared minus 23L plus 132 equals 0 will be our equation. And then we need to find the roots. L squared minus 23L plus 132 equals 0. So we need to find the factors of 132 with sum of negative 23. Since the equations... The equation is factorable, gagamitin po natin ang factoring. So, ano ba yung, factor, yung dalawang number na pag pinag-multiply mo ay 132 at pag pinag-plus mo, ang sagot ay negative 23. So, let's check. Negative 11 times negative 12 will give us 132, which is correct. And negative 11 plus negative 12 will give us negative 23. Therefore, the factors that we are looking are negative 11 and negative 12. So by factoring that equation, this, this will give us quantity L minus 11 and times L minus 12. So ginamit po natin ang factors ng L squared, which is L times L, and then yung factors na nakuha natin, which are negative 11 and negative 12. So using the zero product property to get the roots, we need to equate it both factors to zero. L minus 11 equals to zero and L minus 12 equals to zero. So using transposition, since negative 11 po, magiging positive po siya. L sub 1 will be equal to positive 11 and L sub 2 will be positive 12. Therefore, Dimension of the rectangular garden is 11 by 12. So this is the other solution. So it's up to you kung ano yung gagamitin mo. Either, either ito po or yung nauna ko pong ginawa. So it's up to you where are you more capable or saan kayo nadadalian. So dimension of the rectangular garden is 11 meters by 12 meters.